On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, we're going to make Dutch yellow potato stacks. They're really tasty. Let's go over the ingredients. We have a cup and a half of half and half. You can also use heavy cream. Then for spices, we have a quarter cup of nutmeg, a teaspoon of garlic. We have a half a teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt. And that's to taste, so you can go less or more depending on your own tastes. And then here we have two teaspoons of herbs de Provence. The recipe actually called for thyme, but I love herbs de Provence, so that's what I'm gonna use. I think any savory herb would probably be fabulous. Then we have a half a cup of Parmesan that will go in with the spices and the milk before cooking. And then to top everything, we're gonna add Gruyere, another half a cup of Gruyere. And of course we have about two pounds of Dutch yellow potatoes. And I chose these potatoes because they're little. And I thought if we slice them, we could get slices like this that would end up being a one bite dish. So I have these muffin tins that I'm gonna use to put the potatoes in. So um, in the end, there'll be a nice little stack that I'm hoping will be one bite. I got bite. this mandolin recently and I've started using it just today for this recipe and I'm really loving it. This is by OXO and I decided to get the stainless steel version so that I can leave it out on my counter and it won't uh, stick out like a sore thumb. So I really like it. It's very sturdy, it's heavy, so it won't be slipping and sliding on my countertop as I work with these sharp blades. It comes with a holder, so you can see the prongs on there. So you just grab whatever it is you're trying to slice and stick it on there and just press down gently as it goes over the blade. Now, this is a long, skinny potato, so it does tend to turn a bit. So just be careful while you're doing it and watch it until it gets down to the point where you can control it a little bit more and then you can go faster. And you will end up with uh, little bits that won't go through. Just put those to the side. You can chop them up and fry them for hash browns in the morning or something like that. So here we have all our little potato slices, nice and thin. I'm really liking it. I'm hoping that I'll find all kinds of uses for it. So I'm gonna get started on all these potatoes over here. I'm trying to pick potatoes that are about the same size. I have a bunch of little ones and these are kind of the medium size because what I'm thinking is I'll put big ones on the bottom, then a few medium sized ones and then some little ones. And that way it'll kind of be like a little pyramid of potatoes. Because that blade is really, really sharp. All right, I think that is going to be plenty. So I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that we have the potatoes sliced, we're going to create the milk spice mixture. So I'm just gonna take the uh, half and half, I guess, not milk, and we'll add our spices. So there is the herbs de Provence, salt and pepper, the garlic, the nutmeg. Mmm, that's very aromatic. So I will mix this up. And we'll add the Parmesan. 
Now that we have the half and half mixed with the spices, I'm going to use cooking spray to get these prepped. These are prepped. So now I am going to start with the big the big slices and we'll just toss them in the milk mixture. I think I'm just going to use my hands. So the goal here is to coat each potato slice with the half and half and also kind of mix in the spices and the cheese. Okay, now we're going to divide, I don't know, let's say one, two, three, four, five, let's just say six slices. Let's see how that goes. So I'm just gonna drop that into that tin. So there's about six. And then I'll put maybe maybe four of the medium sized ones and then maybe two of the little ones. So this is gonna take a little while. That looks good. Okay. I think these yellow potatoes were definitely the right choice because some of these are a little too big. So I think the medium sizes are probably going to be perfect for this mini muffin tin. So if you want to use bigger potatoes, use a regular size muffin tin. Because I want these to be a one bite, I want to do kind of smaller potatoes. And I think any leftovers, I am going to put in a separate casserole dish and just make a side dish for another meal. Because I think this will be a great little casserole too. Kind of like a modified au gratin potatoes. Need to stretch it to two more. Hopefully uh, I'll have the right size of the bigger potatoes here to go around. I think I do. I think it worked out to be just perfect, luckily. All right, now, so we've got our first stack in there. I'm going to go ahead and do some medium-sized ones here. And just top those off with maybe four slices each, and then we'll top it off on the little teeny ones just the very top. I think the varying shapes and sizes might actually be pretty. It might even look a bit like, I don't know, a little mini tower of potatoes. Okay, now I'm gonna do some of the littler ones. Don't need as many there. And I think I'm just gonna put maybe three, three more little ones on top with a tiny little one at the very top, just to make it look like it's graduated. I think that will be pretty. We'll see, I've never done this before, so We'll see how this ends up. Ooh, there's a perfect topper. Oh, nope, that's an end. I really don't want an end on there. I don't think the ends are very attractive, actually. Okay, let's see if I can find some little toppers. There's a good topper. Just the little itty bitty ones are good toppers. Ooh, there's, nope, that's an end. 
I think that's probably pretty good. Be nice if I could find one more good topper. Nope. That was a good one. Nope. Okay, I think that's pretty darn good. I'm gonna wash up and then we'll get them in the oven. I do have the oven preheated at 350 and we're gonna put them in there for 40 minutes. Here's what they look like. In they go. So with all this leftover, and if you have leftovers, I'll let you know in the comment section how the casserole comes out. That way you don't have any waste. Even the itty bitty ends we're going to stick in there. So I'm just going to mix all this up and I'm going to place it in a casserole dish, evenly distributed, and I'll top it with the Gruyere. And then I'll bake that in a 350 degree oven, maybe 30 minutes or so. And that'll be a really good side dish for another meal. I almost ruined it. You got to cover it. When you put it in the oven for the first bake, you need to cover it with foil. Otherwise they'll burn, I'm sure. So this, it says to cover it with tin foil, but I have heard from Noreen at Noreen's Kitchen that this really thin tin foil is not good if it touches your food. There have been studies that show that it's linked to early Alzheimer's. So I've been using parchment as a layer against the aluminum foil just in case. So I'll put the parchment there and then I'm going to Cover each muffin tin with the foil. And then we'll stick it back in there. We're just waiting for the potatoes. Just a couple more seconds. It smells really good. I better get my mitts. Here we go. Ooh. My glasses steamed up, can't see. better. Now we're going to uncover them and top with Gruyere now. Let's see how they look. They smell really good. Now we're going to top with Gruyere. I have never had Gruyere. It looks like Parmesan and it feels like Parmesan. And it smells like Parmesan. All right, let's speed this up. I need a little bit more. There's only one left. OK, 
Okay. That's a bit warm. There they are. Do you think they're pretty? They're pretty even without a garnish, I think. Back in the oven. Twenty minutes and we will garnish. And then we'll let it sit for ten minutes, the instructions say. Then we'll plate and then have a taste. Mm. I can tell you right now, it's going to be really good. What I don't know is will it be good for mahjong because it might require a fork. It might be a little too wet for finger food. We'll see. I know one thing. It's going to be tasty because it smells really good in here. Mmm. Cheese. I can smell the cheese. And a little bit of potato. I know too it's going to be really pretty with all those layers. I saw a picture of it and it's really pretty. I think it would be a really nice brunch or appetizer, evening snack maybe. We'll see. You'll have to let me know what you think. Eighteen more minutes. Any second now. Almost ready. I peeked in on them and they're starting to really brown up. There it is. They're pretty, just like I thought. They're beautiful. I'm going to let them cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll plate them and have a taste. Almost ready to start plating and it smells so good. And I think they look really pretty. There's that beeper. Okay, let's dish. Oh, look at that. Look at that cheesiness. Ooh, there's the bottom. All caramelized. It's going to be tasty. Smells so good. I think this might actually be a good one biter. They kind of shrunk down a little bit. So they might actually be manageable as a finger food. And I thought that they might be a little too watery, but they're not. Oh, ho, 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 look at that one. So we're just going to sprinkle on some parsley. Let me just feel one and see if it's too warm to taste. I wish I had an extra one because it's evenly spaced for presentation, but I'm going to have to taste one. 
and they're not too warm. Now, they are just a little bit greasy, so you will definitely need a napkin, but look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it smells really good. You can see all the layers. There's the crispy bottom, brown and caramelized. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna be a one biter. Let's try. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit greasy. But it can be a one biter. It was a bit of a mouthful. Even if you use a plate and fork, that would be fine. But this I think is a keeper. This is a great one bite mahjong nosh. Give it a try yourself and let me know what you think. I think it's mighty pretty and it is delicious. Very savory, my favorite. Between now and the next mahjong nosh and such, may all your picks be keepers.